was about 3.30 in the afternoon, I got a call from my friend telling me that there had been a serious accident. I was about a five minute trip from where the accident happened, about where we are now. The driver of the other car veered across all four lanes of traffic. And right here, right here on the side of the road, my family died. I lost my wife, my son, and my daughter because someone was behind the wheel who had not had enough sleep. If we truly understood the importance and the need for proper rest, tragedies like mine would never happen. The sleep of Americans is being decimated. There are substantial numbers in the American population who sleep five hours and less per night. You don't know how much sleep you've lost until it hits you. Percentage-wise, adolescents are most prone to sleep deprivation. I have not had any sleep. I don't know what it is. If it's the pressure, kind of the pressure that I put myself under. We underestimate the power of our need for sleep. When you get your rank, you're there because the Army wants you to think strategically. If you're getting less than six hours of sleep, you're cognitively impaired. Short sleep is a risk factor for obesity. And there's evidence that sleep loss may promote disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. If you don't get the restorative sleep that you need, cancer is going to grow so much faster. Sleep apnea is really a killer. Insomnia is associated with increased risk for depression, anxiety disorders, substance use disorders. The drugs that are commonly available impair every cognitive function. And millions of people take these drugs, and bad things happen in the middle of the night. When sleep gets short, gets shorter than seven hours a night, you tend to see escalation in obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and death.